everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I am Tara and this is my art channel. Uh, today I am going to be showing you um, a fail, 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 mul multiple fails actually. Um, and just really was trying to just experiment, play with the paints a little bit. And um, I had something in mind that I wanted to try and it really didn't work out but I actually really appreciated this one a lot and I appreciated the end results because it really helped me to um, kind of figure some stuff out so here I, am. I put my base coat down and I forgot to paint my edges um, the painting your edges in a pearl pour is important because uh, you want your design to stick to the edge because you're working with such fluid paint. Sometimes the canvas will show through or that design will fall off the edge. So you want to make sure that you um, put down two pa paints straight from the tube and um, let it get a little bit tacky. So let it dry for just a couple of minutes and then you um, go ahead and flood your canvas now also especially with like this gold color it has a tendency to show through on the edges so I that was actually a twofold um, purpose in painting the edges so I just I gave you the recipe for my pearl pour um, uh, satin enamel paint the base coat and now this is the recipe for the puddle pour and the Dutch pour colors. So it's the very same recipe that I used for the Dutch pour colors and the puddle paints. Um, I will go ahead and list those in the description box as well. If you haven't seen my most recent, or actually if you haven't seen my video on how I mix my paints for the colored pearl cells, um, I will go ahead and link that now above and I will link it in the description box. And then also I do have a paint mixing video on how I mix my paints for white uh, pearl cells. So um, check that out. I will also link that here and in the description box. Now here, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pouring the puddle paint over top of the satin enamel mix and then the pearls will normally pop through. This 24 karat gold that I used is super reactive. I mean, it reacted way faster than I anticipated. So um, I, you saw me add some more paint because uh, my cells were getting wonky and I wasn't covering. So next time I do this, I will add a larger amount of white paint at the beginning and um, just swirl, swirl it around one time and then and then put it down because boy did this react like crazy and I actually love the pearls that come out of this one and I will show you a close-up of them a little bit later uh, this the the satin enamel mixed with the 24 karat gold uh, is super reactive you guys um, I tried to kind of do here I was I was trying to do kind of like a palm like the top of a palm or a palm tree here and it was really it it, it was cool and I and I really liked it until that sand enamel started reacting and eating my paint like really really ate my paint it through the edges especially of the Dutch pour portion of this and I mean you'll see here how quickly these these cells start to pop through and really does eat my paint so I do this I blow it out and I, I actually was loving the way that the leaves were looking um, and then <laughs> then I started, by the time I got to the end, the last one that I did here, um, the first one was like almost completely eaten. So I decided 
that um, I would go ahead. I, I first kind of let it sit for a while and then realized that it was just, it was not working. So I go ahead and I attempt to put more paint over top of the leaves and blow them out again which I thought was the, would be the solution because maybe more paint, the pearls wouldn't be able to pop through so much. So um, I tried that and uh, really thought it was cool looking and then the paint started eating through again, the satin enamels. So here I'm just gonna show you how I blow it all out. And I actually do even show you a close-up of it after um, I let it sit for a while. But, and, and I was trying to decide what I should do, if I should scrape it or what I should do with it. Um, and as the longer that it sat, oh, by the way, here I'm just using my airbrush for this bottom part because I couldn't quite get to it. Um, and my, I wanted it to be not all, the middle section not all blown when I use my hair dryer. So I use my airbrush just very briefly there. So here, these are these cool giraffe looking cells here. And I really loved the way it looked. I mean, those were some really cool cells that popped through. But again, the longer it sat, the more of my paint that was eaten up. I mean, you can see those pearls really started to eat up um, the paint. And, and it actually, it would have looked okay, but you see the edges are kind of bleeding and feathering on the edge. Um, and I thought that it was gonna be okay at this point. I was like, well, let's just see how it dries. It's a cool pearl right there, I love that. But um, at the longer it sat, after this, uh, the more the edges were eaten up and more of the um, satin enamel started eating the inside of these leaf portions and it was frustrating. So I decided to scrape it. Now I'm using the drips from uh, my, my scraping here to lay down this base color. So the drips have all of that um, satin enamel mix with the gold uh, and the rest of the colors that I used for the blowout all mixed made this kind of really pretty minty green color. So I decided I would try this again. I At this point I was kind of getting frustrated and I was just kind of throwing colors down and seeing what was going to happen and it wasn't great <laughs> to be honest i uh, did go ahead and i'll let you see how this looks when i blow it out but again i do scrape this portion again because it doesn't blow out great and i use again um after i scrape off all the dutch pour portion here I do go ahead and scrape my table again because I didn't have any more of um, this color mixed up and I kind of I wanted to use this color so I scraped all of that off I scraped my table again then I didn't have enough so then I had to scrape my table again and it was uh, a very frustrating situation but I just was trying to make the best of it um, so after I lay down these colors again um, I do they are different colors the bases are different colors so I just took my spatula and I just started you know kind of smearing it around and mixing the colors together to try and I don't, it, it didn't bother me to have them being different uh, colors it was kind of neat textural looking behind it so I was fine with it anyways so I am happy with how this one did eventually turn out 
um, because that 24 karat gold is so reactive um, it does eat my paint uh, more than I would have liked to but I actually kind of like the effect that it gave so um, I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of this uh, if you like what you see uh, please like share subscribe hit that notification bell so you're you're notified each time I put out a new video uh, head over to DJ fluid arts my dad's art channel check him out he's got some cool stuff and just a reminder too that I am on Instagram, Facebook. I will um, show those links at the end. I do have a brand new Patreon account, um, so go and check that out. Uh, and again, if um, all of my artwork is for sale, and I do do commission work, so if you ever see anything that you are interested in, just send me an email, and I will get you pricing and everything. So. All right, well, you guys have a lovely day, and I appreciate you um, coming and stopping by my channel, and yeah, I think that's it, y'all. Have a good one. Bye-bye.